all of my pieces are stained and painted glass. They usually have some mythical or literary illusion. This is the rape of Persephone and the image of Persephone I got from um, the Archaeological Museum in Athens. It's actually uh, was on an early wall and it is supposed to be Persephone. She looks like a ninny to me. She looks sort of <laughs> like somebody who is asking for this, guy. this is Hades carrying her off. Like and thug. I made him into a thug. Yeah. So, and uh, this is uh, an emblem of um, Venice. And this is supposed to be Ceres, the mother of Persephone. And she has a little tear in her eye because she's sad. I got the image for this piece from a, a book of ours. It is the mouth of hell. It's very common in medieval um, iconography to show the uh, last judgment. And of course the sinners end up in the mouth of hell. And um, then I wanted to make a contrast, so I have the um, person looking at it eating ice cream. So it's it's cold. You prefer the works to be hanging from the uh, yes, I um, or maybe in a window in front of a window. They can be. They yeah. can be. I I usually I know some people who have actually put them on white walls, mm -hmm. but I like. Uh, I like them hung, hanging in windows. Mm -hmm. The hanging system was developed by one of our members here at Blackfish, and uh, before that, I could only get them a couple of inches from the wall, which is, is really not enough. Uh -huh. This way, it's, um, it's more like y you would see it in a window. This piece is a very personal piece. It's about my losing my ability to hear music. And uh, so here I am drawing, and here is the bluebird of happiness carrying a banner that is inscribed with the names of the classical musicians I used to listen to. This is uh, the last time I went to um, a string quartet, and then I discovered that I actually liked the music of Philip Glass and because uh, it's rhythmic, and that's about all it has. That's you there? That's me. <laughs> that's me. Oh, let's see. Let's go down here to this one. Yeah. Uh, because one of the things I decided to do in this series is have um, act as though they are framed by curtains or by... Um, as, as if they were in a proscenium, as if they were um, performances. And so this is a Punch and Judy, which is uh, sort of alludes to the fact that I spend a lot of time in England. Uh, this is the Judy carrying her baby away, and this is Punch about to hit her with a heavy stick. And this is the hand that is uh, working the puppets, one of the hands. And this is the figure that is, that is watching them. Um, this one is um, one of the, is the first one I think I did. And so I made the curtains very obvious, an obvious strong blue. It's called Touching Home. And uh, I don't know, it just came to me. So it has a lot of trees and some water, and Mount Hood, uh, and then a very simple house shape. This one is, uh, it's based on an opera uh, called For the Love of Three Oranges. It's a, it's a fairly modern opera. Um, and so the woman who is singing also looks like the kinds of people that you get singing in operas. Uh, these are the oranges. Uh, when I went to the performance, they gave us a card that you could scratch, a scratch card that would smell like um, Orange. oranges. So that's why I have a nose here. And these are the audience members. Uh -huh. How many pieces? Uh, 
I have, I think I have nine Nine. altogether. The process of um, making these involves painting on glass with a a kind of glaze-like consistency of the paint. It's like glaze, it's vitreous paint. And you put it on with a brush, you paint on with a brush. Mm. So I've made, yes, I've made figures with the brush. I love to draw, and mm. this is just an extension of being able to draw, but I'm drawing on glass. The, gl- the painting then gets fired, and it's permanent. It's permanent for 100 years yeah. or more. Uh, it's called music. And uh, because I was thinking that music is not just made uh, with other instruments, which I'm sort of used to. I um, play the cello, or I try to now, uh, and the piano, but people sing. Uh, their voices are the instruments. Coyotes what, what, howl, dogs what, howl, birds sing. Why is that a, a dark uh, background? Why so dark? I thought it would make the colors stand out a little stronger. I, I enjoy this one, and if you look fairly closely, you can see it has actually has little dots in, on the scarf. But I like the idea of of it coming up from the darkness, and then this is really like sky, you see, and maybe sort of the bird song. Mm. But I realized that sometimes people go to rock concerts and they have uh, all kinds of Lights. things stuck in their ears that they're listening to something else. Uh-huh. I mean, they're not listening to the music. So this person has a Bluetooth in his ear, and. Uh, then there's a stage, and you can see a few so the, hands. Do these uh, represent uh, like lights? Um, yes, the lights. That's right. It still has this this arch. Yeah. It still is. It has a curtain in the back, so it's still about that kind of thing. A line from the prologue of Henry V, uh, in which they are talking about the wars that are going on between France and England. And they say, when we, when we talk of horses, imagine them planting their hoofs in the receiving earth. I loved that idea. And so I've made this as though they're tapestries, the kind of um, technique I use makes, makes it look a little woven. And then they also have um, this curtain and this person who is bowing, who may be the person who is telling it, at the bottom there are footlights. <laughs> Some people actually seem to understand that, <laughs> but I have trouble um, doing it. I, I. So, uh, so, uh, so, so, what do you think about your show uh, in? Ge- I mean, in the main. Oh, the whole, generally uh, about my show. Well, this is about the fourth show of stained and uh, stained and painted glass that I've had. It's. I, I enjoy the craft of it very much. Uh-huh. I enjoy making the windows. Uh-huh. I enjoy the painting. Um, what are you going to do but next? I'm, but I'm wondering how many other people enjoy that. <laughs> and so I'm thinking I might give it a rest for uh-huh. a while and try some other things. Like Although what? in the process of showing them and, and talking about them to the membership, people came forward with ideas and they said well why don't you do this and why don't you and they were good ideas so i may i may do continue to do it